Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and I'm... Run it back. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. We just started. All right. <laughs> no, no. Good afternoon, queens. My name is Chris, and I'm here with my co-host, Nat. Say hello. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining the show. And you're watching Patriot Platform. Please don't do that again. Can we get you another Apple box? But what if it was a box for books? Because we got one of those at the front of the school. Okay, what are you talking about? Cusno's National Honor Society is hosting a gently used book drive. Now through April 15th, NHS is accepting both elementary and middle school level books. And there's a drop box, see, a box, outside the main office near the security desk. Optionally, staff and students can drop off the books directly to Ms. Tribby's room, 204. See how I worked in a box? Even though I suck at Wordle, I'm winning at Wordplay. Speaking of winning, next Tuesday, the 22nd, there's going to be a volleyball tournament here in the Cousin Gym. Doors open at 1.30 and the games start at 1.45. Spectators must pay $3 for an entrance fee and concessions will be available. Last week, Cousinos Leadership Class put on their Big Muck Election and Talent Show, the Academy Awards. Yours truly was on site, and here's a quick look at some of the interviews I got. Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm here with Reagan. So, Reagan, why are you here? Why do I look homeless? Ship. Nice, nice. What do you do in leadership for Academy Awards? Um, I announce four skits tonight, so that's basically all, but... Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm Chris, and I'm also here with Chris. Chris, right? yeah. All right, very nice, very nice. So, Chris, why are you here today? Um, I'm here to support my friends who are going to be on the stage getting nominated for awards and doing skits. So you're just here to watch? Yeah. Ah. All right, I'm Chris, and I'm here with Daphne. So, Daphne, why are you here today? I'm doing a skit. What's your skit? Most musical. What are you going to play? Like, is there going to be songs? Are you going to rap? No. <laughs> Interesting. All right, what's going on? I'm Chris, and I'm here with another... Chris. Nice, nice. That's three Chris's today. It's Chris Arama. Anyways. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Anyways, Chris, why are you here today? I'm here to support my friends. I'm here to have a good night. I can respect that. Much better than the other people. They were just like, I'm here to support my friends. No, he's here to have a good night. Right, Chris? Yes, I am. You're going to go party? I doubt it. Yeah! <laughs> if you want to check out the entire show, be sure to visit our channel, youtube.com slash Warren Cinematic. Due to technical glitch this past week, some students are unable to sign up for a video and audio production and performance, which is the beginning class for their radio and TV. This was also the case for the advanced radio TV film classes, as well as the media communications. If you wanted any of these classes and couldn't find them on the digital scheduling system, please let your counselor know so that they can manually sign you up for the next year. Coming up next, Sydney will be doing the weather. As you may already know, the weather is done in front of a green painted wall. Ever wonder how it got to be that color? Like an Irish painted on the wall green. And now, in front of that green painted wall, here's Cindy with your weather forecast. As you can see from the map forecast that we're looking at, we're going to have some precipitation across the states. While up north and in the UP, they'll see colder temps and snow. And in the metro Detroit area, we're looking at not as cold temps, but a rainy weekend nonetheless. To recap for your forecast for this afternoon, there's going to be a likely chance of rain showers as for Friday night is going to be some rain near steady temperatures in the lower 40s and the chance of rain again is 100%. 
Saturday, rain is likely, uh, near steady temperatures in the lower 40s. A chance of rain is about 70%. As for Saturday night, it's going to be mostly cloudy with a chance of rain in the evening and then partly cloudy after midnight. For Sunday, it's going to be mostly sunny, highs in the mid 50s and lows in the mid 30s. Uh, and it's going to be clear. I'm Sid with your weather, and now let's check out some of the sports. Oh my God, why did I have to do that? The Red Wings lost to the Oilers 7-5 last night in Edmonton on Tuesday. Mark Stell scored twice for Detroit. The Pistons' losing streak is up to four games after falling to Heat 105-98 in Miami. Jeremiah Grant led Detroit with 22 points, and Isaiah Livers scored a career-high 16 points. Kate Cun Cunningham was sidelined against the Heat with illness and my favorite sport, soccer. Today, there is a game, Liverpool versus Arsenal. The game is taking place at the Emirates Stadium. Actually, the game is going to be so exciting. Aside some other games in the Champions League, Juventus versus Villarreal. And I think actually Liverpool are going to win because they are more ready and they need to become closer to Man City. And that's it for sports. Back to New Desk with Chris, Nat and Sid. Sign off. <laughs> that's all we have for our Patriot Platform this week. I'm Sid. I'm Nat. I'm Chris by Queens. I was saying. Hey, Mr. O, do you like the queen? <laughs>